This little technique to turn off your fight, flight, freeze, stress response is so simple, but it's based on science from eminent researchers like Candace Pertz, Molecules of Emotion, Bruce Lipton's Biology of Belief, and the researchers who are working on the new discoveries of memory reconsolidation. So to start, just observe a single point. It can be the one right here in the video. It can be the corner of a picture frame in your room or somewhere outside your house, a tree, whatever you want, a single point. The point is that right now, as you're observing that point, your consciousness is on that point. The science is that your body will always respond to the emotions of your mind, the consciousness. So if you're really upset, your body's going to feel that and respond. If your fight, flight, stress response is stuck in the on position, your body is always going to be charged. By focusing on a single point, it's a very simple process. And so the body follows the mind and begins to calm down. Observe that single point. And after a moment, if your mind drifts off, just bring it back to that single point. You may begin to notice a very subtle change in the feeling of your body. Subtle because this is calm. This is not the charge of a fight, flight, freeze, stress response always going on. This calming of the body, there's a subtle feeling. Next, I want you to observe a second point some distance away from the first. It's exactly the same process again. Consciousness attached to something very simple. The body simplifies. The reason for the second point, take all the time you want on it, just pause and start again. But when you're ready, I'm going to invite you to do something that may actually change your life. And that is to observe the space in between. Not the wall or whatever it is, but between any two points is a space that has nothing in it. That imaginary space in front of the wall or wherever it is that has nothing in it. And here's the deal. When we observe a space with nothing in it, we are with our conscious mind observing nothing. And the importance of observing nothing is that when we observe that in our outside world there is nothing to respond to, the body gets that signal. The science of what happens is that the body actually realizes it doesn't need to put any energy into responding to our outside environment. And in that moment, it goes into its automatic mode of rest and restoration. And if you try this exercise, observe this space that has nothing in it, become aware of it, you will feel this subtle difference in your body that can make a huge difference for your health and your well-being. And the difference is this. When your body is focused on all of the stresses from the past, the present, and the future, an enormous amount of its energy is expended trying to protect you from whatever the dangers may be, even though there's nothing the body can do to protect you from a past memory or a future anxiety. The only thing the body can help with is if there's an immediate, present, physical danger to your life. Then you're either going to run, right? You're going to flee. Or you're going to fight, or you're going to freeze if your system gets overloaded. That's what the body can help you with. In all other cases, if you could turn off the body's stress response, because there's nothing the body can really do anyway, and the body could return to rest and restoration mode in the midst of whatever you're dealing with, consider the difference that could make for your life. Observe the space that has nothing in it. Just observe it. Your mind drifts off, go to a single point, put your consciousness on that single point, and then the next point, and when you're ready, observe that in between any two points is a space with nothing in it. Observe that space. The signal to your body, now perhaps for the first time in memory, is that there's nothing in the outside world that your body needs to respond to. Over a thousand chemical changes begin instantly to happen in your body. Cells take in 
energy, get rid of waste, repair the DNA strand, communicate with other cells and organs, all on behalf of your physical well-being. They will do this automatically as soon as we step out of the way. But if we ask the body, unconsciously or consciously, to respond to a stress, the body will do that. And then its energy is there to assist you. Always body following mind. Always the body a servant of our mind. Observe nothing in the outside world that the body needs to respond to, and the body instantly goes into rest and restoration mode. You'll feel a subtle difference. It can make an enormous difference for your health. Now I explain all this in much greater detail in my book, Fibromyalgia Relief, and how to use this process actually to attend to issues from the past, anxieties about the future, or stresses in the present moment. There's technique in that book, there's the science of how it works, and there's even a discussion of why is it that we live in such a culture with so much stress in it, and what can we do about it. I hope you'll check it out. I hope this exercise is going to be a great one for you. Good wishes for your health. Thank you.